to it. Now, as far as electrolyte depleters, there are two main exit doors where electrolytes leave the body and go into the potty. So we use our nifty acronym, VPPS. Vomiting, pooing, peeing, and sweating. So let's start with vomiting. Now, we've all done it before, and well, your digestive tract, also called your GI tract, your stomach and intestines, have tons of electrolytes stored in them. So vomiting or diarrhea or excess stoma drainage, like with a colostomy, will drain your electrolytes very, very quickly. Peeing or urinating, or basically your urinary tract, from your kidneys, or fancier words for renals and nephrons, down to your bladder and out your urethra. Because guys, electrolytes are in the blood, and the blood is filtered by the kidneys, also called the washer machines of the body, that wash your blood kind of like a little car wash for your red blood cells. Lastly, we have sweating, like when in the gym, or running to class, or right before your last nursing exam. Wait, 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 what? We never covered this in class. <laughs> I should have been an Instagram model. Sodium, also called salt, comes out during the sweating process. It's also called insensible losses. This happens big time with patients with heat exhaustion, fever from sepsis, or a process called diaphoresis, also known as profuse sweating. Basically, big time serious sweating. Lastly, a little side note, even burn patients lose a lot of fluid and electrolytes together in the same kind of process of fluid loss. So the big takeaway point here to wrap all this up is to remember electrolytes reside in fluid because where fluids flow, electrolytes flow. So let's critically think here. Let's say you threw up from having a bad burrito. Or let's say you're running a marathon, using your muscles vigorously and sweating way too much. Or you went to brunch because you passed your final exam and you ordered one too many mimosas or Bloody Marys or martinis and ended up urinating a lot because let's face it alcohol is a diuretic which makes you pee or let's say if you have massive diarrhea from food poisoning Ooh, you nasty well you're probably gonna feel very very weak and probably start having headaches feeling lethargic or fatigue because your muscles are now weak and now you're beginning to experience the signs and symptoms of an electrolyte imbalance